Welcome back to the official channel of Amit Ranjan. This video is especially for food enthusiasts. Today, we are diving deep into a topic that affects every single one of us, the alarming impact of ultra-processed foods on our brains and bodies. Yes, you heard that right. It's not just about satisfying our taste buds, it's about how these foods might be hacking into our very brain circuits. So, let's get started. Before we jump into the brain part, let's understand what we are dealing with. Ultra-processed foods are those industrial concoctions packed with additives, artificial flavors, and ingredients that you can hardly pronounce. Think soda, chips, candies, and those convenient microwavable meals. Now, here's the kicker, ultra-processed foods seem to have a special ability to hack into our brain's reward system. When we munch on that crispy, cheesy snack, our brain's pleasure centers light up like a Christmas tree. This leads to an almost addictive cycle, making us crave these foods more and more. The junk we cannot simply stop eating. Ultra-processed food harms our bodies by hacking our brain. We now frequently consume things that aren't food, but industrially produced, edible substances. We have entered a new age of eating. Processed and ultra-processed foods are novel molecules put through labs and factories, points out ultra-processed people. The science behind food that isn't food by Chris Van Tulken. If it's wrapped in plastic and has at least one ingredient not found in a normal kitchen, it's probably ultra-processed food, UPF. Crops like corn and soy are decomposed and modified. The cheapest versions of fat, proteins and carbs are extracted, and made into new things, you can turn coal into butter, palm oil into ice cream and baby formula. Common additives include synthetic flavors, flavor enhancers, colors, emulsifiers, artificial sweeteners, thickeners, humectants, stabilizers, acidity regulators, preservatives, antioxidants, foaming agents, anti-foaming agents, bulking agents, carbonating, gelling, glazing, chillating, bleaching, leavening and clarifying agents. Not only is it low cost, and seemingly delicious, preservatives give UPF a longer shelf life. This junk food gives you more calories per mouthful, it's low in fiber and high in fat and sugar. It displaces traditional diets. It is micronutrient deficient. UPF is known to cause tooth decay in school-going children. The ease of chewing changes the shape of our faces, giving us smaller jaws. UPF hacks our brains, like a drug. Why does it seem irresistible, and why can't we stop eating it? Not because it's delicious, but because it throws off the body's ability to self-regulate. It overrides the system of neurons and hormones that signal fullness. This is why it isn't always possible to consciously change our behavior, because we're controlled by ancient neuroendocrine feedback systems, which are simply unable to cope with novel food presented in a novel way. The human body is tricked into dismantling its defenses. Think of our taste buds, which like sweet, salt, sour and umani, but in relation to each other. UPF manufacturers hijack these taste interactions. Not only are we not designed to deal with UPF, it also ravages the earth, destroying rainforest for palm oil, for instance. But it's a hugely profitable juggernaut pushed by big companies, with massive advertising budgets. They lean heavily on scientific research and on regulators, even food activists are cozy with the companies. They resist labeling, their response to the harms of UPF is to add another process by reformulating. The book makes it clear that UPF can only be regulated externally, like pharmaceuticals and tobacco are. Confronted with an obesity problem, Chile put black labels and marketing restrictions on certain food and drinks, banned them from schools and taxed them heavily. This lack of marketing cut UPF purchases. UPF has saturated the West to the point that lower-income families cannot afford not to eat it. Today, food companies are seeking new markets. Unsurprisingly, India is the fastest-growing market for ultra-processed foods. The retail value of junk food and beverages grew 42 times between 2006 and 2019. Western fast food in countries like ours is mostly UPF. It is leading to diabetes, heart disease and strokes and cancer in countries without the health infrastructure to deal with them. The book doesn't advise you to ditch these foods. Instead, it suggests eating more of it while reading the book, to experience the full horror of what you're doing to yourself. And see how you feel by the end of it. Conclusion. So there you have it, the shocking truth about how ultra-processed foods might be hacking into our brains and harming our bodies. 
The journey to healthier eating starts with awareness and small steps. If you found this video eye-opening, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Together, let's take control of what we put on our plates and protect our brain's well-being. Until next time, stay healthy and stay curious.